Okay. The big paint. Step away from the artwork. You never met him? You never introduced yourself to Miguel? Yes. When? He said he doesn't know you. I don't know your name. See? I thought you were clean. Shut up. No, he said I thought I was clean. Yeah, dude. This is Justin. The number is Justin. Clay is a little short one. No, Cynthia or Claudia told me all about you, dude. When I first got here. That girl that worked here? Cynthia. Oh, you can't say he says Claudia every time, bro. Hey, what are you she gonna was like, He's really interested. She told me you were interested in uh, watercolor and painting of all kinds of drawings. This is gonna be a uh, sign. Yeah, I know that, but I mean, what? Yeah. It's gonna say, um, what should I draw in there? It's, what is it? Oh, the, uh, the, I remember. The red. Now I remember. Avant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Avant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avant. Now I remember. Oh, Avant, That's yeah. right. That's the name of the um, art gallery that my my video my dude that makes uh movies yeah he's also opening this art gallery that's why i told you to draw uh johnny tapia yeah we're gonna sell it on the day he releases his movie about dude so anybody that's, that draws something with johnny tapia i'll be able to sell it johnny tapia yeah i'm about to do it too so miguel if you draw draw a picture of johnny tapia i'm painting one yeah. and on the movie premiere night i'm gonna put it in the gallery all the pictures of him and sell them back. oh shit, right there yeah, he's got a bunch of... I didn't know the guy passed away. Yeah, his what wife. That's why they're doing the documentary. I it, didn't know that. It was some crazy shit, bro. His whole life, bro. It was like truly, like Mi Vida Loca, it says on his tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for real. He was had crazy gang life, dude. Damn, some I drugs. didn't know. He, he was died sober. in 2012. Yeah, he was sober I when was he died. I was locked up still. He was sober. Yeah, Which is crazy for him. He was never sober, bro. That's how his wife met him. She got him sober like a couple times. And then as soon as he gets sober, he dies. Yeah. I would have stayed a drug. That happened to my dad, too. I would have stayed a drug. Yeah. My dad did heroin. <laughs> he died when he got sober. Yeah. Crazy. Too long, bro. It's too long. That's that's how I always have my seizures, too, man. Trots. For real. So whenever I stop doing everything, like smoke the weed, cigarettes, everything, that's when I have seizures. Yeah, how come you just don't take yourself out of pain? You like the, the light out here? Yeah, and the light, dude. Yeah, he's all like, yeah, I got the Dude, this light. light is so good. It's advent. Damn, the ambiance is just amazing. Dude, and the people out here are great. Look, you guys coming? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, the people are going to be great in there. Hey, the next people is going to come is going to be security. They're going to be oh. like, sir, you, <laughs> yeah, you can't be doing hey, your you know, side projects. No, 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 you know, you let them know, say, uh, no, you know what? I'm just, br I'm just, uh, uh, loading my brush because I'm gonna make sure these lines are straight right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. Yeah. okay. You guys are going good. I'll be like, look, I'm painting the sign for the He can get away shop. with it. He's got a work That's right. <laughs> look at all the paint in there. Look, this is yeah. like $200 of paint I spilled. Black right there. I spilled blue right here. Gallon of white. Gallon of black. You can't see it. You gotta look over. Crazy. So no, but I mean, I see it. Yeah. But I painted a lot of murals with this truck and went around. I've been to like other states too, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. It's a go getter. Oh, yeah. It is. People it's are always Chevy asking about. me, oh, will you move rocks for me or dirt? And I'm like, now you want me to paint something? Yeah. Uh, hey, you want me to paint the rocks? Yeah. <laughs> I'll paint the rocks. I'll paint the rocks. I'll do little faces on every single one of them. But I'm not going to move them. Do crying ones, do happy They're ones, like, oh, do is weird ones. for hire? They always ask you that. And I'm like, it is, but only for hire. Uh, he, he all goes around there, look at him. He's all like, uh, no habla inglés. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, we'd like to rent your truck. Uh, I said, uh, I don't dude, I used to have a flatbed, a fucking um, Ram 3500 flatbed, yeah. Yeah. big one, dude. And uh, I would let people stop me. That was like 12 years ago, though. And people would be like, come move some dirt. I'd be like, fucking 100 an hour. 100 an hour, 200 an hour if it was trees. How will they? Anything with trees. Fuck, they do it all day. <laughs> they're like, okay, because they're, they're lazy or they don't know how to do it. Yeah. They're like, okay. We're like, shit, that's 30 minutes, bro. Uh, yeah. I can go do a ton of dirt in like 15 minutes. Bro. That's right. Just space it out, make it look longer. Uh uh. Just do it quick and then go get another job. We would make things. Between doing what we were doing, people just like, hey, will you come move this? You're like, all right, 200 an hour. Shit, bro. I'd be rolling in the dough. Shit, fucking it. Now? Yeah, bro. Shit, fuck, that's bro. The I was a real say, bro. I know. Like a fucking huge yeah. one. Yeah, that was sick. It was sick.
I didn't have a lift on the show. Still though. Dude, I would, yeah, 200 an hour? <laughs> fuck, fuck tattooing, eight dog. Hours, <laughs> eight hour shifts? Yeah, dude, fuck yeah, bro. Oh, Walk bro, out with 1,600 tattoos. Construction, tech. you'll become a millionaire, you guys. Building stuff, like building stuff, and moving shit like that, construction, digging, yeah. all that easy, trimming trees, millionaire, bro, within 10 years. You will. That's Especially if you're a contractor, like a real, real contractor, you yeah. go and get your license, bro, you'll be a millionaire. All skilled laborers, bro, make a grip of money. I used to paint houses, you guys, when I was in my 20s, without a contractor's license. Just like... Yeah, yeah, word of mouth. Word of mouth, and make bro, bank. was banging, bro. Yeah. Like, 5,000 a week to 10,000 a week. Five grand a week? A week, bro. But I had to split that with yeah, yeah. three really? guys, but still, I, was, I had two houses, bro, yeah. back then. Still, man, I, I'd keep the three and give them a thousand each a week. Yeah, that's yeah, dude, that's grand. more than enough for you to survive heavily. It was a lot. You just that's buy the, you thousand. just all you have to do is buy your. Uh, yeah, bro, it's a and fucking hundred and sixty yeah. something thousand a year. Yeah. Tax free. Yeah, it's more than a hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah. Easy. Crazy. I'm the yeah, I quit. <laughs> I wouldn't quit, but man, I would definitely, man. If I was well, at the top much, of tattooing, they make a thousand an hour. Who? All the top tattooers. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no. A thousand an hour. Yeah. But, Absolutely, uh, but if I, once I get there. Yeah, yeah it's take a minute. <laughs> it takes, takes time, bro. Takes time. You got your knife out just to stab some homes? No, to open my paint. Yeah. He said no to open my paint. This is I always break the tips of my knives by opening paint. <laughs> you like it, <laughs> That's from Star Trek. I know. Bro. I stole it off the set. Now I'm good. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? It's got a skull smasher. You go like this. Yeah, Boom. What? On the top of What'd the skull. What'd you say? Don't make me. I'll go talent on your ass. <laughs> bro, you know who are the best knife fighters in the world? The Mexican and the Apache people, bro. Oh. Yep. I learned that from a Sistema knife fighter, a Russian knife fighter. He was like, the best knife fighters are Apache Mexicans. You know why? Because they've been You want to see my Aztec so warrior? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My Aztec warrior! You know who are the best uh, uh, marksmen when it comes to guns and smithing and stuff like that? The Chinese. Chinese. I knew it. Yep, I knew that. Chinese. Because they did it first. Yep. They made the black powder first. Yep. And don't Switz come in somewhere like Swiss? second? Yeah, Switzerland. I thought they, they were come... bows, man. No. Huh? I thought they were bowmen. No. No, oh. you're thinking of Japanese, but yeah. Japanese. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Those yeah, long yeah. bows? Yeah, Chinese. They do that shit with their eyes closed, bro. They'd be like... Yeah, I know, dude. They're wild. Boom. It's because they practice for fucking much, yeah. bro. It's because they can hear you, dude. That's right. I was just fucking... going to say that. They, could they can hear like where this. you're at. And just... Yeah. yeah, they've been practicing. Yeah. Dude, and that's a horrible, that's a horrible way to die, bro. Dude, just get, get an arrow, no, get an no. arrow through this Why arm. That hole? <laughs> dude, no, you're still alive, bro. No, because I seen alive. those, I seen bow hunters when they hit these deers, and these deers like. You take a couple run? more. Yeah, they're like, like, fuck up. Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> it's a horrible way to die, bro. Horrible. It is. It is. Bro, the people used to fucking hunt people like that, bro. Used to hunt they still every... do. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm uh, saying people. Can I? No. No, they do, bro. Hey, if part, parts of the Philippines is yep. one of them. Yep. Where they, and where they, Amsterdam. Can't... Rich people pay to hunt other people, too. Dude. Oh, well, that's different, some though. rich European that's white people shit. different. For real. That's... I used to live in Amsterdam, and I know. That's like a cult. I know about that shit. Yeah, yeah. that's what They it fucking is. kidnap people, bro, and hunt them. Like, you pay a million dollars to have to go hunt. And it'll be someone it. kidnapped from like South America. Yeah. Bro, from Suriname's islands. Because they own, the Dutch own all these islands. Yep, yep, yep. And that's jungles, right. That's and right. Kidnapping the natives, bro. And you have to run. And then the fucking rich people are like trying to kill you. That's fucking up. Flush them out. Flush them out. Dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Man. Dude, I would be, I'd be, you'd catch me in the dirt. You'd catch me underneath the dirt. For real, like, no, buried. you know how you'd have to do it. You'd have to do it like, uh, you have to kill the them. Old, yeah, yeah, no, you have to the, kill them. That's dude. what I'm talking about. You'd have to do it like the old jungle fighters, like that. Stick did, the did you see that movie oh, called yeah. Apocalypto? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, remember Jaguar's paw got that's mad right. and that's he right. went and killed everyone? That's right. That's what you have to do. You have to make traps using bees, mud, Anything. snakes, spikes, spikes everything, yeah. everything, bro, pits. 
Bro, how long you do you though? get to take off running? Not very long. Well, I was about to say, they, they're, they're probably not going to give you oh, just a couple days. Nah, they're probably not going to give you a couple days, bro. No, nah, a couple minutes. Yeah, we got you. They give you a couple minutes, bro. I'll be tripping, dog. Papa! <laughs> Papa! <laughs> <laughs> My Aztec warrior! <laughs> I've never called my dad Papa. Yeah, my I I just so <laughs> that's my that grandfather. Suck. That's my grandfather. I go by Papa. I call him Pops. Yeah, I do. Gramps. I call my I call my dad Pops. That's exactly what I, I do. I call my dad Dad, my grandfather when they're around. They're gone now, but oh, Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, I call him Pops and Papa. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> that's some fucked up shit. Papa, did I make you proud, Papa? <laughs> <laughs> That's some serious fucking sandpaper there, man. Yeah, buddy. That's just taking off chips. <laughs> no, it was the way they cut that. It got cut. Yeah. It was splintered. Yeah. Because I didn't put tape down. I couldn't. It was Lowe's. And uh, so I'm just taking that off. That's the back side anyway, it won't matter. Fuck it, drop the mic. That's right, it's shampoo for you. If I painted you? Yeah. Why? This is organic. This is water based. This, this is not Those organic. Those are just clothes, bro. No, they're not. They're not just clothes. Those can they're be replaced. Identity. Friendships can't. Friendships can't. <laughs> you should paint yourself to show me that you're my friend, dude. I got paint on my clothes. Yeah, I would do it. To be in my game, dude. The painter's thing. On you. There's a little piece on you. No, dude, see, I can't do it. Game. Come on, bro, just like this. Just to be with me. Come on. Be part of it, dude. And no, he said, just let me, let me do it. No, there's some extra on the ground if you really want to. No, I don't. You can kneel down on it. He said, you can kneel down on it. That's cold as fuck. I'll just. You wouldn't be cold if you were painting the rest of me. I can't do You do a little bit. You forgot the glue. Thank you, bro. This is a great help. Try and fill in those cracks. Just a little bit from the weather. You know, it's going to get in there. The raindrops. Tiny raindrops. See? Perfect. Dude, you've done this before, haven't you? Yeah. Why it's on, the sun. Keeps, I would offer you a beer for such a good job, but you're not drinking tonight. I will take a beer. I'm doing a real thin coat. On this first coat, yeah, spread that. See all the little holes where it gets in? See them? That's where the weather gets in, those little dots. They're breathable, so try and press down on those parts and cover those holes. Thank you, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I just need something that I notice with oak, because this is oak fly. You really gotta press it in there to cover those bugs. That's how your water and rain and shit will get in there and bust your sign up. Man, you just busted a huck fin, huh? Whitewash. <laughs> Whitewash fence. I'm going to do quite a few layers. Oh, no, yeah, of course. I just got to get all the holes covered in. Yeah. And it's then just... instead of beveling it, because I couldn't find a, a jig, yeah. a router, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to take it and get it framed. I just you. put a bevel on it. I have Lowe's, like, or not Lowe's, but uh, Michael's. Yeah. You like, just put one bevel frame on it. Mm -hmm. What is 
this thing right here, can you show? Yeah. And it's like, what is this? He's all like, I didn't get up that far. That's weird. It's not me, man. It's not me. Oh, I know what it is. It's like pieces of the uh, judge. It's the wood when you were yep, standing. Yeah, I was standing like a crazy person. Yeah, I, was I get heated, bro. I have to get down. Right now, I'm not even cold because of it. Well, yeah, of course. Oh, uh, he's a dripper. Oh, That's why dripper. I put way back. He was like, I want you to do it right there. I said, just in my head because I know you're going to We used to me. stop paying out. <laughs> Look at all that, though. Look at the edge. Oh, uh, drippy. <laughs> Look at the edging. Here. <laughs> Flatten it in like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're skipping me. Okay, but look, the frosting. We don't want the, the wedding thing. Look. Mm -hmm. There you go. There it go. Looking beautiful. Get all those holes. Slow down. You'll be slow a painter down. soon. There you enough. go. You get it nice and slow, you won't get spray, and it fills in your holes better. The goal in life is to fill in the holes. Gentlemen. Daniel Song, go with the grain. Not against the grain. Soon, you'll be an amazing warrior painter. <laughs> First, I was the student. I painted helmets yeah. in, in the, the Chinese master. Revolutionary War. <laughs> 1838. It was, it was the Chinese who created Gun Fu. 38 mil.